recently went to CollectCon and got a lot of product as far as stuff to add to my sealed collection and stuff to open. And I have a couple things here that I saw at a stand and was pretty interested in. And the name of the booth was Pineapple Collectibles. And what was really cool is that she had this smaller mystery box here where you'll find five booster packs, one random chase pack, and then a custom sticker. And she has the odds right down here. And what was interesting is that when you bought these, four of these randomly had a sticker on the back here. And if you pulled one, you got a graded slab. And I was lucky enough to pull one. Well, I wasn't lucky enough to one. Someone else was really lucky enough to pull one for me. And I was able to get a graded slab, which was the promo in the Hidden Fates Birds Stained Glass, which was really cool in a PSA 9. This one about for 60 bucks. And then she had a bigger mystery box, which is going to have, I wish she had the details on the box, but it's 36 packs. And I believe there's a graded card, a chase pack, and I guess we're going to find out what the other contents are. But um, this one for 280 and I traded actually some graded slabs for both of these. So that was really cool. I was looking forward to trading some of my graded cards just to get some cool product. And I bought two booster boxes of Pokemon Go, Japanese. I've been wanting to open one of these. So I bought two to keep, one to keep sealed and one to open. So that's what I'm gonna open today. But we are gonna open the first smaller mystery box. Let's see what we get. See some bangers. Packaging is pretty good, and she was really cool to work with. I talked with her a lot about trading some cards, and she was telling me a lot about, you know, her business and what she looks for and how she likes to run her booth and everything. And she's really, she's a really pleasant person to talk to. So we're gonna pull this. I think we're gonna pull a tab, right? No. Oh, maybe she cut the sticker first. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, first we got the cool pineapple collectible sticker, and it looks like we got a celebrations pack. This is a really cool packaging, by the way. Put that right back there. All right, and so we're gonna go, I guess, one by one on these packs here. First one up, we got celebrations. Let's see what we can get. Alright. So Lugia. Cosmog. Ooh, a blast. That's that's awesome. I actually traded one of these recently. Yesterday at Collecticon just to get some product and now I got another one back in my collection. This is awesome. Favorite Pokemon too, by the way. Alright, first pack was freaking great. Put that there. So next we got some chillin' rain. I know I understand a lot of people love this pack. There's a lot of cool alternate arts in this pack that I want to get. My hands are so sweaty. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's funny. Evolution's right there. Okay, nothing in that pack. Pokemon Go, still need to get a couple cards from this set. I'm trying to get the complete Master Set. I actually bought a couple uh, cards while at the convention. I bought the Alternate Art Mewtwo, the Radiant Charizard, because I can't pull that and I'm kind of getting sick of spending money on packs just to get it and not get it. So I just decided to buy the cards outright. Skip to the end. Okay, Pokestop and then Lapras. Okay. Vivid Voltage, going for the Rainbow Chunkachu. Actually, I had a graded CG9 Rainbow Chunkachu and I traded it to her for getting these mysteries. And, uh, you know, hopefully she enjoys it. She actually uses a lot of uh, her graded cards in making these, these packs and these mystery boxes for people. And she had an unbelievable amount of <laughs> graded cards and a really cool sealed product. And should see it on the 
later part of this video or before this part. This will be pretty cool. All right, I got some Shining Fates. See what we get. Let's see if we get that Shining Charizard. Probably not going to get it, but that's cool. Oh, hell yeah, Crobat VMAX. It's a dope card. Can't go play with that. And then some Fusion Strike. I keep pulling the packs off screen just to open them with my teeth because uh, <laughs> I can't open them with my hands. Pretty bad at it. Alright. Okay, so that's that first mystery box we got there. So we got the five, and then one in, uh, I'm sorry, the one in five was Sun Moon XY, one to 10, and then 120 for the, uh, for the Watsy or the Platinum pack. All right, next is the big one, the bigger mystery box. That went for 280. So let's see what we can get. I'm gonna open up I'm gonna look in it before we pull it, just cause keep it kind of a mystery for everyone. And actually for myself too, I'm not gonna look. Okay, so here's the graded card. This is the one graded card that comes in every pack. I'm gonna leave that back here, we're gonna look at that last. We're gonna see what that is. All right, so here's all the packs. 36 packs, looks like a pretty good assortment. You can see all the different pack types and everything. So, We'll pull this out. This is another card that you get, a sealed card with a magnetic case. We'll put that back there too, but we'll look at the packs first see what see what comes in there. Let's just pull all these out so we can look at them all. Man, we got a bunch of... You know, I know it's 36 packs, but it looks like it's just way more than 36 packs. But it's still pretty cool. Nice, so we got the... All her information right there. If you guys want to go check her out, check out like her shop or Instagram. Let me get this in focus real quick. Right there, pineapple collectibles. And what's cool is I got the Japanese version of it looks like I want to say the baby voltage set, so that's pretty dope. Put that back there. All right, so we got a healthy amount of packs. Shining Fates, Champion's Path, Astral Radiance, Sun and Moon Base. Oh, nice. We got a Primal Clash pack. That's pretty awesome. We got... You know, I'm going to keep the rest of the mystery. We're just going to open them. How about that? We're just going to open them. We'll keep that Primal Clash in the back there. We'll open that one last. Okay, we got a Trap Hinch. Okay, Celebi, nothing in that pack. Some Chumps Path. <laughs> I'm, I know this one's notorious for getting nothing but the Champs. And never really getting the Charizard. But we'll see what kind of luck I have. Ooh, Cinescorch, everyone's seen that one. Some Darkness Ablaze. I know this one just got a massive reprint, so I know it's not the most popular set. Coming back with the reprint, but it's still a nice set because it has that Charizard you can get in here. Star Raptor. Okay. Some brilliant, ooh, okay, we got some brilliant stars. Actually, I really love this set. I've been trying to get a lot of the, a lot of the cards in here. It's a really nice set, so. Always love seeing these packs. Okay. Nice, we got a white code card, nice. That's good news. See what we got? Okay, we got a Luxray, and I see something in the back here, and oh, nice, we got the Full Art Pikachu V. This is a really dope card. I actually need that one. Put you in the back with the hits, buddy. So that's a, I'll take that, that's awesome. Nice, so we got a really crisp looking evolutions pack. 
open that up here in a second. I'll start working on the other side. All right, some Astral Radiance. It's the most recent set. I know we got the uh, Lost Origins coming up. Astral Radiance is the most recent set that came out. Nothing crazy there. It's a dope card. I love Overquill. Such a cool card. I think I like it because it's purple. All right, some Fusion Strikes. I know this thought that's not too popular <laughs> but you know there's a for the Mew lovers out there there's some cool cards of Mew we got Genensect in this we got some alternate car alternate art cards that are pretty cool yeah we'll see what we can get all right nothing crazy in that pack Got another Celebrations. Let's see if we get another Blastoise, that'd be cool. That'd be sweet. Wouldn't complain about another Blastoise. Ooh, the Birthday Pikachu card, all right. I'm gonna make sure I sign my name at the top there so everyone knows it's my birthday. When it's my birthday? No, oh, nice, we got some two nice packs coming up. So we got the Hidden Fates, got the Evolution. Let's do the Evolution first. See what awesome hits we could maybe get from this. It's a nice looking pack. I hate opening it. It's so crisp and clean looking. Full picks. Oh, okay. Looks like we got a Doug Drill, and then I kind of spoiled we got a far pitch in the back. Nothing crazy there. Alright, let's do this in fates. Let's see what some nice shiny bolt cards we can get. We'll Caterpie, we'll Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke. Ooh, a shiny Ralts, okay. And then a non-hollow Electrode. All right, get the shiny Ralts over there. And nothing else. Okay. Got some Chillin' Pains. Thank you. <laughs> Keeping it nice and neat over there. Okay. I like that Diglett. Rock Rough and Spirit Tomb. Okay. Looks like we got some Sun and Moon base. This is actually kind of hard to come by as of recently. There's not a lot of packs out there that, or you know, product out there that's going to have Sun and Moon base. So it's always nice seeing this set. Oh, that opened up real easy. Well, got the green code card. Okay, Chin Chow. That's a nice reverse hollow pattern. And the Bruxes that no one cares about. Sorry, Bruxes. Sorry, dude. You're not the favorite. Ooh, some Steam Seas. I actually haven't opened up a lot of this. I've only opened a couple packs, but I don't see it quite too often. For open, at least. Nosepad, that nose pass card is so cool. Looks so serious. Another Mary Prever. Oh, nice. We got a ship tree. Holographic. That's pretty cool. And bravery. Battle styles. All right. I actually like this set when it came out. This set was actually pretty cool. I thought it was pretty. Uh, kind of like difference that came with the strike, the fusion strike, the rapid strike. I thought it was pretty cool. I know it's not the most popular set, but I mean, that makes it cheaper for me to get, I guess, right? And he's still in Journer. Nothing crazy there. Okay, looks like we got some uh, more fusion strikes coming up. We're basically opening up a whole booster box from this mystery box that she uh, is selling. So, kind of makes sense. I mean, I've seen all the packs. Can I open this thing? There we go. We got some Melton power up going on. Toxel Star You. 
Reverse Simapore. And a lot of us that no one cares about. Woohoo! Okay, nice. Love seeing these packs. Always love to pull more stuff. I need to finish it up. Let's go. Okay. Oh, ruin that one. I can do it this way. Alright, let's see what magic we can get. If I get the Radiant Charizard, I'll be uh, <laughs> mixed feelings about that one. Normal, okay, Rare Candy, and Blissey. Okay. Ooh, some Ultra Prism, nice. So this is a little bit of an older set. Not too, not too crazy, it's not considered vintage or anything, but it's nice seeing this. The Prism cards in here are really cool looking, I think. Pack is like almost impossible to open. Some sneasel. And Mo Rotom. Okay. Our t shirt. There you go. Okay, up up next, we got some more brilliant stars. Brilliant stars. I like to get oh, some more rainbows from this. I don't think I have any rainbows from this set. So it'd be nice to I don't know, see more rainbows being pulled. Starting off with the spirit too. And a hollow torterra. Okay. Oh, nice. I'm seeing a. Oh, I'm seeing two pretty good packs going up. So we got more. Vivid Voltage, see if we can get that Rainbow Chew back. That'd be kind of cool if I got another one. Pretty sweet. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Just threw that at you. That was slippery. And a Gorbador. The garbage Pokemon. Does anyone like that Pokemon? Does anyone use that Pokemon? I don't, I don't think anyone does. Nice, so we got some Team Up. Team Up's an awesome, awesome set. I actually like this card of Snorlax and Eevee. That'd be cool if we could get it. Ooh, this one's opening up pretty nice. Pretty nice. Onage, Weedle, Gratini. Reverse Spear Team, and then a Skarmory. The graphic card is actually kind of cool. Why don't you focus, camera? Yeah. Ooh, Burning Shadows. Okay, yeah, this set is notorious for having really off-centered, poorly cut cards. This set's pretty notorious for having uh, poorly cut cards, centering's off, that's why getting this Charizard card in this set is really, really difficult. I've only seen a few that actually had 10s. They're, they're pretty rare. Let's see what we can get. Heracross Reverse, that's a dope card, love Heracross. And a Passimian. Push the next that guy over there. It's our hit pile. Okay, okay. Alright, coming down a couple couple stacks of packs left. It's kind of the celebrations. And no hits out of that pack. Chillin' rain. Chillin' rain. This is another good set that people aren't, or I shouldn't say, it's not too popular. It's pretty affordable right now. It still has some pretty good hits, but I mean, there's a reason why it's not as popular because it can be so finicky. Ooh, nice, Crimson Invasion. Also not a popular set for the Sun and Moon era. Some Weedle. Oh, I'm seeing something shiny back there. <laughs> Carablast. A goofy Pokemon. 
Starly, and then a Guzzlord GX. Okay, not too bad. Halloween's coming up. I think that's a really appropriate card. Okay. Some more Sun and Moon base. Shushan and Moon base. Alright, reverse timer ball and then a lantern. And yeah, nothing. Alright, alright, Pokemon. Go set, let's do it. Give me something good. Give me some kind of insight. Give me a new card for my set at least, please. Give me a maybe a gold. Maybe not the gold lure, but you know, a gold card or a rainbow. Or another radiant card. That'd be pretty cool. Double Squirtle hit. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, Melton. Uh, oh! <laughs> right when I was just saying it, don't please don't give me the gold lure module. <laughs> and I just summoned it. That's Alright, well that's awesome. Now I got two. That's great. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's what I get, I guess. That's, uh, that's karma. Okay. Got some Astral Radiance. Some more Ash Radiance. I think that's the biggest hit so far is that golden card. Temple Sinnoh and a Typhlosion. Oh nice, and the most rare card ever. It's the V-Star. Most important card. Alright, cool, we got some Lost Thunder. I believe in this set there's a really cool Luya card. That'd be dope getting that. I don't have that one yet. Door, Larvitar, Spell Tag, and then a Wigglytuff. Okay. Oh, nice. Got some evolving. Got some evolving skies right here. Okay. Let's open up two. I know the recent reprints of evolving skies have been kind of mixed with a lot of people. A lot of people are excited about it because it's such a really nice set, but then. At the same time, I know the quality hasn't been too great. Ooh, and we got a Daryl Lawton Full Art. It's a pretty nice card. I actually don't have that one. That's a, it's dope. Um, yeah, a lot of people are just not too excited about the new Evolutions reprint just because the quality has been pretty bad, but I mean, you can't, it's hard to be that upset when a new set comes out and when you think about how much how much cards they're making, how much product they're making, I would expect to have a lot of errors and a lot of cutting issues just because of the pace they're going at, just to keep up with the demand. But you know, hopefully at some point they'll be able to stop and you know improve the quality. Because I know Japanese cards are a lot better quality, and I think they were uh, talking with one another about how to improve their product than American cards. So hopefully that'll happen sooner. Oh, nice! So we got some Roaring Skies. I'm actually going to keep that back with the Clash. We'll open that last. Got an Unbroken Bonds card pack, at least. That's cool. Haven't seen one of these in a while. And a nice looking seal. It's a nice looking seal. Glam Meow. Growlithe looking so proud. Got a Reverse Oddish. And a Landros Hollow. I actually really like these Reverse Hollow cards, how they have the pattern like that. So I think it's I think they're cool. I think they're cool. I know a lot of people don't, but I think they're pretty pretty cool. Alright, some darkness ablaze. Let's see uh, what fire we could pull. Clarion Mr. Mime, Electric, Dino, Simeon, Bunnelby, Reverse. What? This has gotta be an air card. This is so yeah, this is definitely an air card. I could be wrong. I don't know. I have to look that up. But we got a Hollow Suicune, which is pretty dope. I've never seen Heat Energy like that. I'll have to look that up. I could be totally wrong. But it just looks off to me. Okay, some Shining Fates. Glassafleur, Chudel, Horsey, 
Yan Mega. Oh, and we got a more Peko V. More Peko V. Okay. Down to two packs. We're gonna do battle. We're gonna do battle shouts first. We got to start off with Kakenya. Mawow, that's the mime. Skedabug. Karkle. Reverse and a Marowak for the rare. Alright. Last up, got the Vivid Vultures, the regular packs. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. Manectric, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. All right, let's see if we can get some really cool stuff out of these two last packs, and we're gonna look at the slabs and the magnetic case set next. So some roaring skies. I remember a couple of years ago, the dollar store actually had the primal clash and the roaring skies blisters back on the shelves. And I remember walking in and actually seeing some so I got like two or three of them I forgot there wasn't a lot but I was able to snag them and I don't know it's just really cool being able to get those packs all right creepy nothing and then the Zatu rare okay nothing crazy there all right promo clash got grout on for the pack art okay Starting out with the steel. Got a Torchic. Maru. Sunskirt. Zigzagoon. That's actually a really cool looking one. Normally it's brown. I don't know, maybe it's a different type. We got a energy for the reverse. Ooh, and oh, we got a primal Kyogre EX. This is one of the cards you want to pull in this, this set. This is really nice. That's awesome. Hell yeah, okay. Totally happy with that pack. That's awesome. That's exactly what we wanted that. All right, now we gotta follow it up. Let's see what we got in this magnetic pack, or this case, actually. Okay, we got an Arcus V. It's pretty nice. I wonder if I can take it out of the... Oh, I can't, okay. Well, let me just keep it in there we can, so we can safely look at it. See uh, if this card's any good. I'm sure it is. It's in good shape. Yeah, it's actually looking pretty good. Wow, this this is actually pretty cool. I'm afraid if I put it back. I kind of want to keep it in there just because it's cool, but as long as I keep it like that, and maybe if I do this. No. There we go. No. Oh, there's a little hinge at the bottom. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. Cool. Our kiss B. All right. Last thing, one thing we're waiting for. What do we got in the slab? All right, we got a shadow or not? A, yeah, shadowless Do Duo PSA nine. That's pretty cool. I mean, shadowless cards are really, really awesome to get. They're one of the very first print sets of the base set type. Obviously, you can get the first edition of shadowless, but shadowless is pretty awesome. And a PSA nine, that's really great. So yeah. Uh, had a great time at Collecticon. 